going out there? All right, all right. Good to be here at Vegas World. I love it. How many people out there in the commercials? Like commercials, right? The only ones I can't take are the public service commercials. Let's face it, gang, we're paying for those suckers. And when a guy comes on the air and he says, burglars and rapists look for unlocked doors and windows, I ain't seen anybody rape an unlocked door. I'm not kidding. And if those weren't ridiculous, how about cigarette commercials? Is it a wonder they took those off the air? You got a guy sitting on a horse in the middle of 3,000 cows telling you to come to where the flavor is. That's right. And what are they going to replace them with? Skull. That sounds like a hemorrhoid commercial to me. Hi, I'm Walt Garrison. Take a pinch. Put it between your cheeks. <laughs> Can't believe it. I, you see all these baseball players into these commercials nowadays, and I could see Johnny Bench doing something for natural childbirth. Come on, babe, put him in there. Oh, low one outside. Try it again. No, I can't believe it. How'd you like to see a big name? You want to see a big name actor do a local commercial. Now, that's one I've always wanted to see. Somebody like Jack Nicholson doing Peter Piper pizza. Come on over and get some goddamn pizza, you little turd heads. No, I like that. All right, commercials. You know what? I was, I was in Los Angeles. Cable television, they've got a brand new commercial. It's an ethnic commercial now. It's Chicano American Express. And they got a little dude that comes out and he goes, you probably don't recognize me, but that's okay because I never leave home without your American Express card. <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway, I, really, I was, I, ladies, how many single guys we got out here? Single guys by round of applause, let's go. All right, all right. Bunch of married guys in the back faking it. It's all right. Ladies, take it easy on these guys because they have to cook for themselves. And the closest thing a single guy is generally going to get to a hot meal is a peanut butter and Ben Gay's sandwich. <laughs> Ladies, these guys are going to go to the grocery store and their minds are left at home. They freak completely out. Ladies buy the common stuff, steak, potatoes, eggs. Guys go to the grocery store, they want to get creative. They're going to buy stuff like hamburger helper and squid. I mean, guys lose their mind. They're walking past a meat counter looking at the beef tongue saying, I ain't buying nothing that's tasting me while I'm tasting it. That's right, they're totally freaked out. They finally figured out why the shopping carts stick together. They just throw cold water on them and they come right apart. <laughs> they walk past the tissue counter, right? There's a toilet paper with perfume and they're going, why do they put perfume on toilet paper? Smells like hell when you get through with it. <laughs> Guys are thinking all the time though, they are. Guys are thinking, why do you blow your nose in the bathroom? I mean, if there's any room in the house you don't want to recover your sense of smell, that's probably it. No kidding. And guys, let's face it, if you live with a girl long enough, she's going to ask you to stop at the store for that little feminine item, right? And there you are like an idiot standing in the aisle with the pink boxes and the blue clouds and the blue boxes with the pink clouds, and you're trying to figure out how in the hell you're going to get that box out of that store. I got a secret for you guys. I figured it out. You go to the generic section, you just buy it. It's a big white box that says napkins. And ladies... Don't you know if a guy lives with you long enough, you're going to ask him to go in for something that'll cure that irritating feminine itch, right? Guys are practical, ladies. They're not going to mess with the creams and the sprays. They're going to get to the root of the problem. If we've got an itch, we're going to scratch it. That's right. Ladies. Ladies, can you believe how excited guys get when ladies get pregnant? Husbands are always walking around going, we're going to have a baby. And the wife's saying, what in the hell do you mean we? It was a hell of a lot smaller when you gave it to me than when I'm going to give it back to you. And guys are doing, freak, they're, they're going to freak out again. They are. And I'm asking my neighbor, I'm saying, what does it feel like to have a baby? I mean, guys can't empathize with that. So she says, listen, just put your fingers between your lips and pull. No, I said, that's not bad. She said, now pull them over your head. <laughs> yeah, and, I'm, and her husband wanders out then and I'm telling him, I said, Lamaze is the only way to go. It's the only way to go. And he says, no, Lamaze is dangerous. He says, I'll tell you why. He says, you go through the breathing exercises and you go through all that moral support and that's fine till you get to the hospital. And then you go up in the elevator with her and she goes into the delivery room and you're giving her all that moral support. She goes through her first major contraction. She reaches out, grabs you by the crotch and says, if I'm going through it, you're going through it. We're going to have this baby. Thanks a lot. You guys have really been great. <laughs>